Hello everyone. I am going to discuss the question that has been asked in the gate examination. Uh, basically, that question is from gate two thousand twenty-four, and that is the part of process calculation, and also you can say it's a chemical reaction engineering part. So if we are going to read the question that what we are getting here ki methane combusts with the air in the furnace as a following reaction this is the reaction and the heat of reaction is given and is assumed to be constant means heat of reaction is not going to vary with temperature the furnace is well insulated and no other side reactions occurs all the components behave as ideal gas with a constant molar heat capacity of 44 joule per mole per celsius means heat capacity is constant is not going to vary with temperature and also it's constant for every species air may be considered to be 20 mole percent oxygen and 80 mole percent nitrogen and air fuel mixture enters the furnace at this temperature so and conversion of methane varies with the air to methane mole ratio r so r is the air to methane mole ratio and as the air to methane mole ratio will vary then conversion will vary okay and uh, rs is the stoichiometric air to methane ratio so rs is basically s superscript stand for stoichiometric ratio of air to methane and uh, if r is equal to 1.05 times of rs means if the ratio of air to methane is 1.05 times of uh, ratio of air to methane in stoichiometric proportion then uh, what is the value of temperature of the flue gas at the exit theek okay? hai that's what the question is that flue gas means after burning and it's a well insulation means adiabatic is there so first of all we must know what the conversion of methane will be at the r equal to 1.05 rs clear so what the rs is there if you see rs is nothing it is the ratio of rs is nothing it is a ratio of stoichiometric it is a ratio of stoichiometric air to methane ratio so it is a ratio of stoichiometric air to methane mole ratio it means uh, uh it's moles of air to mole of methane at stoichiometric condition stoichiometric condition so what's the mole of methane is there as if you go for reaction if you'll go for reaction the reaction is cs4 plus 2o2 gives co2 plus 2h2 and delta h reaction is minus 880 into 10 power 3 joule per mole of ch4 bond clear so this is what the heat of reaction and stoichiometric let stoichiometric uh, amount of methane and oxygen is what 1 mole and 2 mole or 10 and 20 mole whatever you can assume that you can write here so let stoichiometric amount of methane and oxygen is one mole and mole of oxygen is two mole is stoichiometric amount clear so what is rs rs is nothing i told you it's a ratio of moles of air to moles of methane so moles of methane is one mole what are moles of air in a stoichiometric amount it's a moles of oxygen in a stoichiometric amount since in the question they have clearly mentioned ki air consists of 20 mole percent oxygen and 80 mole percent of nitrogen clear so whatever mole of oxygen that we are going to see here that is only 20% of what 20% of moles of air 
in a stoichiometric mode so from this you can find the moles of air and there is nothing it's 2 upon 0 0.2 upon 1 and it's found to be 10 so RS is found to be 10 this is what the RS value and for this RS you can find the value of conversion once you know the RS then you can find the conversion conversion of methane at R equal to and expression is 1 minus 0 0.1 into E key power minus 2 times R minus RS and it's given at R equal to 1.05 times RS it means 1.05 times RS is 10 it means 10.5 so at R equal to 10.5 what is the value of conversion so if you put all the values then X equal to you get 0 0.936 please you can cross verify so this is what the conversion of methane at R equal to 1.05 R is the uh, air to what is R? R is nothing it's a ratio of air to methane mole ratio so R is nothing it's moles of air to moles of methane moles of air to the moles of methane clear better? it means you can say for every one mole of methane 10.5 mole of air is there so this is what the conversion and for this conversion you will find out temperature now you can go for energy balance so from energy balance uh, you know from the first law of thermodynamics it's nothing Q minus W is equal to its summation of Ni into Hi at exit minus summation of Ni dot into Hi at inlet plus it's simply delta H reaction into into what extent of reaction this is what the simple energy balance that we used right for reactive systems no heat transfer no work transfer because it's clearly mentioned and uh, this is the enthalpy at the exit I stand for number of components exit and is for inlet so that simply you can write 0 is equal to summation of Ni dot into Hi is nothing at Cpi into T exit exit means let's say temperature is T naught minus reference temperature is T reference clear minus simply here Ni dot into Cpi into its inlet means here T inlet minus T reference T in minus T reference plus heat of reaction into extent of reaction that's simple balance if let's say we are going to assume the reference temperature as a exit temperature means as a T naught as a reference temperature then that term will be cancelled out clear this term will cancel out then simply this equation will reduce to uh, summation of Ni Cpi into T in minus T naught which is the reference temperature and that is equal to plus heat of reaction into extent of reaction and uh, since Cp of each species is assumed to be constant that is given and T in and T naught is also constant because every streams are going to enter at the same temperature and this is given as a 50 degree Celsius if you read it's a 50 degree Celsius clear so and Cp is also constant and Cp constant is given as a 44 joule per mole per Kelvin so you can write here 44 joule per mole per degree Celsius and this is what 50 minus T naught in also Celsius cancel out joule per mole is there and uh, total mole is summation of Ni total moles is obviously how much mole is there as an inlet in inlet obviously 10.5 uh, mole of air is going to enter because air may oxygen be or nitrogen be and plus one mole of methane it means totally 11.5 mole the 11.5 mole is there is sum of total number of species clear this is equal to heat of reaction and heat of reaction is given as a minus 880 into 10 power 3 okay into extent of reaction extent of reaction is obviously the moles of reacted moles of methane reacted and this is uh, we got as a 0 0.936 0 
0.936 because moles of methane entering is only one mole. So if you solve this equation, then here minus 880 into 1000 into 0.936 divided by 11.5 into 44. This is here. The I got 50 minus T naught is equal to minus 1627.82 then T naught is equal to 50 plus 1627.82 so we got answer as a 1677.82 and if you round off to the nearest decimal the 1678 degrees Celsius this is your answer okay so this is what about this clear that's all